Good afternoon. I am pleased to welcome His Excellency Mr Andrew Mitchell, the UK Minister of State in the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office in the UK. We have had several bilateral meetings over the past year discussing various areas of cooperation between the State of Qatar and the United Kingdom. Today marks a significant milestone as we gather today to inaugurate the co-funding initiative between the State of Qatar and the United Kingdom, a testament to the enduring partnership between both countries. Recognizing the humanitarian crisis and the Gaza Strip, our two countries have worked together on delivering 29 tons of urgent humanitarian aid to Gaza, working towards increasing the pace of aid reaching the Strip in the past few weeks. In the light of the continued hostilities in the Gaza Strip, the State of Qatar is committed to supporting the people of Palestine by providing humanitarian aid and assistance, medical care and treatment, shelter, food and other necessities. Since the 16th of October, Qatar started an air bridge to Al Arish to send urgent aid and relief to the Gaza Strip. With the help of our international partners, including the United Kingdom, France, Egypt, and the humanitarian agencies in the UN, such as UNRWA. We have seen the repercussions of lack of funding to UNRWA, and further defunding will only serve to punish Palestinians who are in the most catastrophic of conditions. Therefore, we urge all international partners and the international community to sustain and resume funding to UNRWA. Through our partnership and coordination with other countries, we have also been able to safely evacuate many Palestinian residents of Qatar, patients who require urgent medical aid or care, and journalists, including journalists from the BBC, the New York Times, Reuters, AFP, and others, under our collective obligation to protect civilians. We, however, still face serious obstacles in gaining the required approval from the concerned parties to evacuate hundreds who still need to be evacuated to the state of Qatar to receive the required medical aid and care uh, or to be reunified with their families. As we witness the continuing hostilities in Gaza, our collective concern deepens over the rising civilian death toll and the evident humanitarian emergency. We emphasize the importance of keeping humanitarian corridors open and safe from military assault. We also express alarm over the Israeli attacks on Rafah, where 1.5 million of displaced Palestinians are currently taking shelter as they were instructed to do so by Israel itself. Bearing in mind that these individuals have already been displaced multiple times before moving to Rafah, we reassert the imperative to find a permanent political solution to the ongoing war, recognizing the, that lasting peace is the key to securing the well-being of all those affected. In furtherance of joint efforts to make a meaningful impact on the lives of those facing dire humanitarian circumstances. Together, the State of Qatar and the United Kingdom are allocating 50 million US dollars to address the most pressing humanitarian and development challenges, reflecting our shared responsibility to respond to crises on a global scale. In addition to the collaboration between our two countries on providing aid to Gaza, Qatar and the UK have cooperated on several programs aimed at addressing global humanitarian and development challenges in March of 2023. The Qatar Fund for Development and the UK's Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office signed a memorandum of understanding laying the groundwork for current and future collaborative efforts, including supporting vital humanitarian and education programs in Syria and food security programs in Somalia. We have also collaborated together on the Building Resilient Communities in Somalia program focused on emergency humanitarian health assistance, nutrition, water, sanitation, hygiene, and cash support benefiting 500,000 people. Together, let us redouble our diplomatic efforts towards fostering stability, peace, and prosperity in different parts of the world through our shared projects. May our collaborative endeavor through this initiative serve as a beacon of hope in building more compassionate and resilient communities. Thank you very much. Uh, Your Excellency, I am delighted to return to Doha to meet our Qatari partners and to further reinforce our joint commitment 
to our development partnership uh, with Qatar. As demonstrated by Britain's International Development White Paper, which the Prime Minister launched last November, placing partnership at the heart of the UK's offer shows that at its core, international development is not about charity, handouts and dependency. It's about listening to our partners and working together to uh, secure shared objectives. And that is exactly what this partnership with Qatar sets out to achieve building on Qatar's strong legacy as host of the least developed countries conference in March last year, where our plan for this co-funding initiative first originated. And uh, I wanted to present you, Your Excellency, with a copy of the International Development uh, White Paper. It is Britain's contribution to how we solve uh, the issues which are bedeviling the achievement of the SDGs at this halfway point to 2030, we know they are way off track, but also how we generate the international finance to meet our commitments to stopping climate change and boosting climate finance. Your Excellency, I think it's a fantastically exciting uh, read, a real page turner, and I wanted on behalf of uh, our government to present it to you, and I hope that you will enjoy reading it and think that it hits the mark. So it is also my pleasure uh, to announce that Her Excellency and I have agreed to work together to commit an initial $50 million in co-funding to support the world's poorest people. And when I had the great uh, honour and privilege of uh, meeting uh, His Excellency the Emir uh, last year when I was here, uh, he indicated support in principle for increasing that figure to $100 million. And I hope that as part of our work together, this is just the beginning of a most uh, important uh, endeavour. To date, and through our close collaboration with uh, the Qatar Fund for Development, the UK and Qatar have provided 29 tonnes of life-saving aid under a joint consignment to support the humanitarian response uh, in Gaza. And let me be uh, clear, uh, Qatar has no closer partner than Britain in working to uh, bring an end to the dreadful crisis that has engulfed uh, Israel uh, Palestine. We are working together to get the hostages out and to get humanitarian aid into Gaza and to secure a sustainable ceasefire, uh, one that will endure on the back of ensuring that Hamas can never again perpetrate the appalling events that took place on October uh, the 7th. Your Excellency, you mentioned uh, the various other places where we are working closely uh, to deliver, in particular three co-funding opportunities, two in Syria to support vital humanitarian and education programs, and one in Somalia to alleviate food insecurity. And today, too, we have talked about the challenge facing the international community in supporting Ethiopia at a time when starvation is very much on the increase in that uh, country. In Syria, our partnership has provided over 16,000 teachers with pay, refurbished classrooms and lavatory blocks, and ensured that over 400 schools have sufficient heating to keep children and teachers warm over winter, reducing dropout rates and absenteeism. As part of famine prevention efforts in response to Somalia's longest ever drought, the UK and Qatar have jointly provided $6.5 million in support to the Building Resilient Communities NGO Consortium. That injection of funding has delivered emergency cash assistance to 7,700 uh, families to buy food and water, primary health care services to over 200,000 uh, Somalis, which included life-saving uh, vaccinations, and life-saving treatment for over 17,000 severely malnourished children. Today, we have committed to accelerate progress on this vital work through our inaugural development dialogue in London in May, where we will formalise further co-funding opportunities 
promote greater engagement on development issues and enhance our aid delivery capabilities through exchanges of technical expertise. Together, the UK and Qatar intend to go further, faster, to alleviate the most pressing global development challenges. This, Your Excellency, is a great alliance and we are committed to driving it forward with enthusiasm and with vigour. Thank you very much indeed.